What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Overdose Fates. This is Travis and today we're taking a look at a little bit of e-liquid from Charlie Noble. It's been a long time since we featured Charlie Noble e-liquid on the channel, but when I was ordering myself some of my number one e-liquid of all time, Siren Song, I happened to notice that they had a new flavor, well new to me at least, called Matcha Cream Puff. This is from their new dessert line and uh, I'm a huge matcha green tea guy, right? Like uh, Starbucks has their little matcha green tea drinks. I get those frequently. Um, they have the matcha mochi ice creams. We love those. Um, we just like green tea matcha flavors in general, right? And so when I saw this, I knew I had to pick it up. So if you're not familiar what, with what matcha is, matcha is like a finely ground green tea powder, right? Um, it's used in the tea ceremony in Japan, and it is a very unique flavor. So I was happy to see that someone like Charlie Noble was taking a crack at doing a flavor that features matcha. And um, yeah, I'm excited to try it. So I got, I got it here on my phone. I'm going to read you guys the flavor profile. Uh, Charlie Noble's Matcha Cream Puff is a delicate pastry dusted in powdered sugar and filled with a light, creamy matcha filling. So it's a dessert slash bakery flavor. And the primary flavors are matcha, green tea, cream and pastry. This is a 70-30 liquid. You're going to get it in 60 ml bottles. Um, cost $20 um, for 60 ml. All of Charlie Noble's e-liquids across the site, $20 for 60 ml. That's their price point and that's the only size you can buy. I did buy this. This was not sent out by the company, so there it is there. Let's go up close check out the bottle. A really cool little bottle. Um, I'm, I've always been a fan of the way that Charlie Noble has branded their stuff. So um, the same holds true here. I am trying it at 3 milligram, of course, because that's what I vape. So let's go check. Okay, so I have it on the US1 V2 RDA on my minigun mod. I've got the Copa 810 glass drip tip here, Trinity glass, all the way. You guys know me. Okay, matcha green tea, cream puff. We've got a cream puff, powdered sugar, with a light, delicate matcha green tea filling. Let's give it a shot. So it's got a really nice cream puff um, flavor, the actual cream puff component of this is very well done. It's got a nice, uh, light, delicate pastry note, as well as a really nice, dense cream note, which I was very happy to to, um, to see present here. Uh, when I think cream puff, I, I need to have that cream, and I need to have that puff, otherwise you're selling wolf tickets, if you, if you, catch, my, if you catch my drift there, so... The actual matcha component of it is definitely there, but it's very light. Uh, matcha in and of itself is a very light flavor, so it's not surprising that it would be light in this context as well. It's a little bit floral, um, which again is true to the way that matcha is in the real world with regular matcha tea or matcha desserts. You're going to have that slight floral note. It's not off-putting, but it is definitely there. So if you're uh, adverse to um, floral notes in vaping, then this might not be for you. I'll just tell you right off the bat, it's definitely floral. So it's a very light flavor. It's not going to pound you over the head with any of the components. Um, while I do get very clear pastry, cream, and green tea notes, like I was saying, they're very subtle, they're very light, which I would expect given the flavor profile those are very light. Flavors. Cream puffs in real life are not super sweet. They are sweet, and the same holds true here in this e-liquid. It is not overly sweet, and it's not overly bombastic. This isn't the first thing I would give someone who's fresh from smoking, because it's not a very rambunctious flavor. Um, it, this is definitely on the more advanced end, I would say. It's very subtle, it's very light. Um, it takes a little bit of thought. Um, this is not a brainless e-liquid. Sometimes I praise e-liquids for being the kind that you don't have to think about and that you can just 
you know, hammer into and enjoy, and it's very clear cut. This is definitely not one of those liquids. So um, while I do very much enjoy this, I also have been vaping for long enough that I appreciate when a company is trying something new. It's got a very nice lung fill. It's not the cloudiest liquid that I've ever had, but it definitely gets the job done. Um, Charlie Noble uses very high quality ingredients, and you can definitely tell that here as well. It is a fun to vape liquid. It is a easy to vape liquid, and it is a tasty liquid. So I'm gonna give this a 4.2. I think it is extremely well done. Um, it has that slight floral note, which is a little off-putting, but all things being all things being said, um, I do really enjoy it. Uh, it's the flavors are well represented. The green tea is there, uh, specifically the matcha is there. Uh, the cream puffs are there. It's so well done. It's very easy to vape, very smooth, um, high quality ingredients. Charlie Noble does it again. Good on him. If you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit challenging, a little bit high tone, I think that. Charlie Noble's Matcha Cream Puff is going to be the ticket for you. So thank you, Charlie Noble, for trying something new. I really appreciate it. You guys are making it fun to vape, and I'm having fun vaping this, so good on you. Thank you guys so much for watching, because you guys make it fun to make these videos. And if it wasn't for you, I probably just wouldn't. <laughs> Until next time, please keep your coils tight. Try out some of this Matcha Green Tea Cream Puff. I think you're going to like it. And until then, 